This April, the CAFE Foundation hosted its fourth annual Electric Aircraft Symposium. Kip Plains was there to listen to the speakers and to talk to CAFE President Brian Seeley. Well, this got started with the CAFE Foundation team uh, realizing that there was an opportunity for emission-free flight thanks to the advancing technologies. I was particularly interested because I built an electric car from scratch in 1973 when I was an intern and uh, we decided to host the first ever electric aircraft symposium in 2007. That event was really made successful by Dr. Paul McCready who once he was signed on to the faculty everybody wanted to come and it grew from there. It, it practically doubled each year. This our fourth annual event a tremendous event with an outstanding renowned faculty, a comprehensive program showing us all the many technologies that are going to be converged into this new kind of uh, aviation domain in the second century of flight. Really what we saw, a, a collaborative spirit here, five out of the eight Green Flight Challenge teams were here and they were, some of them, sharing their ideas. We saw, again, the comprehensive uh, program covering propulsion, propellers, uh, structural advances, of course battery advances, energy storage, the motor technology, these high power to weight ratio motors that are coming down the pike, uh, the inspirational ideas that are going to go into making these vehicles useful, the fl advanced flight deck, advanced safety, pilot workload reduction, uh, every area of aviation you can think of was here and of course NASA provided a very, very strong faculty component to this, but also the industry. And when you can see actual productive, um, you know, uh, usable, marketable products, see the opportunity here. Now we are starting to grow a new green industry and green jobs. I think in the Green Flight Challenge we're going to see a mix we already know that the propulsion mix will include hydrogen, MOGAS, diesel, electric power, and solar. And the solar, you can imagine, will be the very low power required, ultra-high sailplane-like, uh, ultra-high aspect ratio aircraft. The ones that are running hybrid are going to be very clever in the way they use their liquid fuel. Uh, I think we're going to see some extreme drag reduction. I think we're finally, for the first time, going to see a Goldschmied propulsion type vehicle. So it's going to be a, a menagerie of interesting and exciting ideas. And again, I think all of them are winners. The Cafe Green Flight Challenge is more than just a contest, more than just an opportunity for one lucky team to win money. It's going to give us the opportunity to show the world, I mean a global audience, the technology breakthrough that can enable a whole new kind of transportation. A transportation that is green, efficient, much faster than what we have now, and retains the important aspect of private distributed travel.